hope you get to hear me now Hey everyone, welcome back and thank you for tuning in again. If you're new here, I want to welcome you to my channel. My name is Wang and today we're going to do some unboxing and maybe a quick review of this um, gimbal right here, the Zion or Jion Crane M2. I got really excited when this was first announced and now I finally have it. I can't wait to play around with this thing and see how it performs with my two cameras. Um, I have the Sony a6500 which is um, filming us right now and I got the Lumix G7. But first I want to say that I am not sponsored or anything. I bought this um, Crane M2 from my own pocket so I want to give you uh, my unbiased opinion about this gimbal. But let's do the unboxing first. All right, here we are. Let's open this thing. First, let's cut this seal open. All right. Here we go. As you can see, the case is made of black styrofoam. All right. Some manuals fell off. Inside, what kind of document oh, we got? A service card and Cranium 2 oh, manual. Alright, now it's time to open this case. Wow, look at this thing! It's so tiny. Look at how small this thing is. Crane M2. Alright, and we have the knob, some leather strap, some other strap, I don't know what is that for, oh, we got the charging cable I believe, I think this is a cell phone clip, do you want to use your cell phone for this gimbal, yep. got the mounting base plate and the mini tripod for the Xeon Crane M2 alright out of the box we got the Crane M2 itself the mounting clip for the cell phone we got a knob a charging cable strap a mini tripod and the mounting base plate and that's that all right so i got the crane m2 out of the box what i like about this gimbal just like its predecessor it has that locking mechanism so make this motor stay in place if you want to put this inside your backpack so it won't ruin the, the motors while it stays in your bag and also the size just look at the size of this thing it's so small especially if you take out this mini tripod boom this is great for traveling if you're a travel filmmaker this is the best gimbal to have on your backpack compared to I have this bad boy I mean just look at the size of this let's compare this this size is just the size of the grip of this Ronin S this is a monster right here this is a monster this is a baby but still a beast so I want to take this outside and test it out with my Lumix G7 first and then I'm gonna swap it with my a6500 all right let's go all right first thing to do is to balance the camera to the gimbal so 
you need to do is unlock everything make sure it's loose uh, if it's not you can just slide to the right uh, there's a locking mechanism over here so everything should be loosened and ready for um, balancing so uh, we need to take this uh, base plate over here there's two slots the longer one and the shorter one if you're using a diesel camera just like this one uh, we have to use the longer slot in order to mount it to the gimbal uh, otherwise if you're using a phone or a smaller a camera like a um, point and shoot or um, cell phone then you can use the shorter one so but for now we're gonna use the longer one so here we go so the way I mount this one um, you line up the longer side of the base plate um, align where the lens is pointing Once you're able to attach the camera, you're able to mount this one and you just slide it in all the way. Alright, and then turn the knob, tighten it, tighten the screw. So and now we're gonna have to balance. Uh, the weight of the camera. Uh, first thing you need to do is the, what I always do is the roll axis which is found in the back. So once it's balanced you can just like that you can just turn the knob tight. You can just lock it in. So next you need to balance the tilt action so you want to keep the camera like this. So what you need to do is just um, sliding the camera forward or backward. So depending on the weight, you just have to counteract that. So if the camera leans back, so just move your camera forward. So you, got, you just gotta be patient with um, balancing the camera on the gimbal. gonna do some micro adjustment every time so that's pretty good right there all right now um, the balance is off on the roll axis so you're gonna have to rebalance that one again and make some micro adjustment so let's go through. all right so it looks balanced so just tighten everything up I like about this one it has that marker on the roll axis where you can just unlock and then just slide it to where you can mark it so every time when you take off the camera when you put it back you don't have to rebalance uh, the whole thing so you might have to do like a little bit of micro adjustment all right all right it looks like I balance the camera to the gimbal so if you let go like that it stays in place uh, they should be able to go I know it's not perfectly balanced but this should work so let's turn on the, the gimbal and the switch would be located on the right hand side so you just slide it up and hold it for two or three seconds until the LED screen would show and now it's on so um, I'm gonna take this thing outside and do some couple of tests and I'll let you know how I think about this gimbal, how it works and how it performs. So this gimbal has seven modes to choose from and I'll show you how to do that. First mode, once you turn on your gimbal, it will start up with pan follow mode, which is indicated as PF on your LCD screen. This mode allows you to pan left and right only. Now, to change to a different mode, you can press the M button to change into lock mode. This will make the camera to lock in place to wherever you're pointing or facing at. When you press the M button for the third time, this will change into POV mode. This mode will allow you to move all the three axes which lets you pan left and right tilt up and down and lean left and right. In other words, it allows the camera to follow the handle movement. 
Now, when you press the M button twice, this will change into Go mode. This mode allows a fast pan or tilt to capture a fast moving object. On some gimbals, it is also called the Sports mode. Now, while you're in a Go mode, press the M button twice again, this mode will change into Vortex mode. This will make the camera to point up and allows you to shoot a barrel roll by pressing the joystick left or right. Next mode is the follow mode. This is done by pressing the front trigger once. This mode allows you to pan left or right and tilt up and down. Alright, so the last mode that I'm going to show you is the selfie mode. So if you want to take a selfie or if you want to vlog, in order for you to do that, just press the front trigger three times fast, one, two, three, and the camera will turn 180 degree facing you. Alright, so you can vlog and take a selfie. Uh, to go back, just press the front trigger uh, button three times again, one, two, three, and it'll go back to its normal position. Alright? What I think about this Crane M2, I think this is a great gimbal if you're going for a minimalist uh, travel filmmaker, if you don't want to carry a heavier load in your backpack, um, if you want to stabilize the footage of your DSLR, uh, point and shoot camera, your GoPro, cell phone, uh, this works pretty great. Uh, if you want to travel with a gimbal with you, um, this won't take much space in your bag. I think this is the smallest gimbal in the world as of now, but probably in the later future, they might come up with a smaller version of this one, or they might come up with a second version of this one that could handle a uh, much heavier setup. Um, just guessing, but uh, that's what I'm seeing in the future uh, because they're coming out more gimbals every year. Um, like the Weibo Lab S that's coming out soon, which is the big brother of this one. They claim that it, it will handle a much heavier um, load and more modes added into it. So I can't wait to um, have my hands on that one once it comes out. But for now, if you're looking for a small gimbal to use, if you're traveling, I think this is the best choice to have in your backpack because it's very light you can see how small this thing is and once you take this thing it gets much smaller this is amazing anyways thank you for watching guys I'll see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to click the bell notification so that it will notify you every time I upload a new video for now, I'll see you in the next one.